Hey ladies, I have been on a roll with trends here lately, so I wanted to include a video with accessories and jewelry. These are gonna be really fun options. Some are going to be the Y2K influence, maybe some 80s, maybe just some fun popular trends that are going on that really, I don't even know what era they came from, but there's some really cute things out there, so I wanted to talk about them. And my name is Jamie with Your Guide to Style. If you're new around here, thank you for hitting play, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, I would love a thumbs up, and if you have time, to subscribe and hit the little bell it's totally free and it helps me grow so thanks again for being here and let's go ahead and get started talking about these fun accessories and jewelry for spring 2022 the first thing I want to talk about are scrunchies and this is an 80s trend that is back with a vengeance and I love scrunchies for long hair they're super easy but sometimes they're a little heavy so I really love the idea of the organza scrunchie this season and you're going to see a lot of things in a transparent material which I love the organza because it's lightweight and it's really pretty so it fits in really well this season with everything that's going on and I just thought it was a fun accessory to talk about the next three trends that I want to talk about are headbands, head wraps, and head scarves. And I love all three of these trends. I think they're a lot of fun. And headbands have been trending for a little while, but you are going to see really unique ones that are braided and have beading on them or have some type of ruching which is on trend and you'll also see ones that are large and have maybe large knots on them or large beading or pearls like this so just about anything goes and i just wanted to show you guys some options because i thought they were a lot of fun so you'll see some more pictures i won't talk about all these but most of these are braided and then your hair wraps are mostly a material, like a stretchy material, are really comfortable, really nice, and they fit a little more snug onto the head. And I put a couple of options here for you. And then the scarves. So the head scarf is becoming very popular. It started a couple of seasons ago, and I think you're gonna see a lot more of them. And I found two here that were actually also part of the trends for this season, which is gingham and butterflies. So I wanted to show them to you because I thought they were really cute if this is something that you wanted to do for this spring and summer season. The next trend is a big Y2K trend and it's the claw clip. This has actually been coming back into style for a couple of seasons now. But this season, you're going to see a lot of butterfly clips and the really tiny ones. I don't know if you remember those, if you wore them back in the late 90s, early 2000s, but we used to use them and make rows uh, to look like a headband. I just thought they were a lot of fun and I got really excited when I saw these and you can buy them in packs of 10. They're really cheap. And then you can get the big butterfly clips, which I thought were really pretty. And then you can find really cool claw clips in all different styles. And if you want just a generic one, these were great. And I loved it that they were flat so the tooth doesn't actually dig into my skin. So these are really nice and they came from Target. They're really inexpensive. And then I also wanted to mention barrettes because barrettes that are large, and with beading or pearls on them like this have been in style for a little while they're still in style and wearing different pins and barrettes together in a collage on your head is actually in style that is a way that is on trend to wear them you don't have to do that you can just wear a big barrette if you want to i had a big pin in my hair on my last video and i love doing that just helps keep my hair out of my face and is a lot of fun so you'll have a lot of options and pearls i want to mention are really big in jewelry and accessories so if you love pearls, you're going to find lots of them this season as well. For those of you that love hats, I wanted to talk about hats as my last accessory because I think hats are becoming very, very popular. And the ones that they're showing a lot for this spring are going to be sporty baseball caps in really cool materials. So they look a little more high fashion. And then your bucket hats, which you're going to see a lot of, and they're fun and cute and will shade you very well from the sun. And then a beret. A beret was pretty popular in the fall and I'm seeing some denim ones and some other materials other than wool that would be cute for spring and summer. So now let's talk about jewelry and you are going to see lots of fun options this season. And one of the options that is very new to me and is a very Y2K trend is what I'm calling colorful and happy jewelry because the jewelry 
jewelry is very colorful. You'll see smiley faces, hearts, maybe rainbows, things like that. And remember the friendship bracelets that we had. So you're going to see a lot of that and a lot of plastic jewelry, which plastic jewelry can be very colorful. So it's either beaded or plastic and you're seeing a lot of fun colors. And the idea is for it to be happy and motivating and just be inspiring to us and maybe others, even with words and things like that on the jewelry. This next trend is going to be very popular for those of you that love wearing bracelets or cuffs on your wrist. And this is actually just a cuff that you wear on your arm. So it's just a really pretty decorative cuff like you see here. I found a pack of these at Amazon. I know these probably aren't your top of the line jewelry pieces, but they are really cool. And this is a trend that I don't think you have to spend a lot of money on because I do think it's going to be here for a short time. But I do think it's a fun way to add an accessory to your outfit for the spring and summer season. So there are some specific trends in necklaces that I wanted to talk about. And the first one is in chains. And I know chains have been trending for a while, and I think they're going to be here to stay for a little while longer. And this season is to wear them a little bit chunkier, maybe two strands or more, and then choker style. So the next trend is the choker style necklace, which has always kind of been an option, but it hasn't been on trend. And it is one of those trends that was popular in the Y2K age in the 90s and 2000s. And I remember wearing them. And a lot of them are really petite, may ha maybe had a little charm hanging from them. So you're going to see lots of those options. And you're going to see options in a lot of color, like the red beaded one here with the little butterfly on it. And then the next trend in jewelry is also going to be butterflies. You're going to find necklaces like this. This is just a short necklace, pendant necklace, and you'll find lots of earrings. So those are the options that I saw that were really popular in necklaces. And of course, I have mentioned pearls all over the place. Pearls are also going to be a big deal in necklaces. So I really wanted to mention this trend because I think it's fun and easy for just about anyone to do. And it's stacking your bracelets and your rings. So if you can buy sets of these, that is perfect. They sell a lot of sets of stacked rings. So you wear multiple rings on multiple fingers and then bracelets as well. And some of my favorites actually are Victoria Emerson bracelets. I have a lot of her wrap bracelets that look stacked and I could put multiple on so it looked like a bigger stack if I wanted to. But she sells bracelets and stacks and she sells cuffs that I thought were really cool. And this is not paid. This is just something that I really love and her stuff holds up really well. And a lot of times you can find it on sale and get multiple. So. I just wanted to mention these because I think it's a great way if you want to add something really pretty and do something really cool with your jewelry this season, then that's the perfect thing to do. Just stack your rings and stack your bracelets and you are going to be on trend. So the next trend that I want to talk about, which I might should have included in accessories, but I'm including it in jewelry and it is over the top sunglasses. So a big trend in sunglasses is to wear a bold shape a bold color, maybe one that's rimless and has pink lenses or another color lens, you're going to see lots of options. And even the white framed sunglasses are really big right now. So this is an easy way to add a trendy accessory to your outfit without going over the top and paying too much for it. And it's just something you can throw on and have fun with. And I do think that sunglasses say a lot about people's personality. So it's a great way to add a little bit of your personality to your wardrobe. The last trend that I wanted to mention is something that you guys are probably going to see. I don't know how popular it's going to be, but it is something that is starting to come back, which is body jewelry. So this is like waist chains and toe rings and things like that. and I'm not sure how popular it's going to be, but I know it was something that people were talking about that was going to be trending because it's a Y2K trend. And a lot of the styles with the crop tops and things like that being popular, it only made sense that something like that would pop up as a trend. I'm not sure how many of us will be doing that, but if you are going to be doing the body jewelry and love it, I'd love to know in the comments below if you got this far. Those are all the accessory and jewelry trends that I wanted to talk to you guys about today. So thank you so much for watching and I would love to know what you think in the comments below. I will include all the links for the items in the video down in the description and I will include the links to my other trends videos if you want to check those out. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.